Sung by stonefish, most painful sting on earth. We are searching these tide pools off the coast of Eastern Australia for the most toxic fish on the planet. The stonefish is notorious for having the most painful sting in all of nature. And today, I'm going to get stung by a stonefish. But first, we've got to find one. Let's get looking. It's going to be very hard to find the stonefish because in addition to their legendary sting, they are masters of hiding. The key to this is going to be to move slow, methodically, and to not step. What if he already steps on it? You know, like, what if he's like looking for one and he just steps on one? You could be looking right at a stonefish and not even realize it. And that's why so many people step on them by accident. But stonefish are all we have to look out for. This isn't the only animal that could do you harm here in the Tidepools off of Australia. We also have cone snails and the blue ring octopus. One of the, the fuck is a cone snail gonna do to me? That could kill me? What the f do they do? And the blue ring octopus. And what I'm assuming that's like poison. Those things can kill you. They're a death wish. They sting you and you'll die. What about a what about a blue ring octopus? That thing looks fucking dope though. Oh my god, dude. It's like trans it's like a translucent, luminescent blue. One of the most lethal creatures in the world. And lethal not creatures in the world. What the f like you're gonna glance over that and we're not gonna fucking we're not gonna fucking talk about it. Blue octopus. It's it's fucking bacteria in its sal sal salivary glands are neurotoxic. And your muscles will stop working. Bro, that's literally the grimace shake. Did you have the grimace shake? No. No, the blue ring octopus got me. <laughs> the blue ring octopus got me. No, I'm assuming you would just die. Yeah, you, you have paralysis and you just die. I'm assuming because you can't breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe. Wow. How did, what was that snail's name? I feel like the snail is way less scary. Like an octopus I'd, st I'd stray away from. A fucking snail? Cone snail? How do they kill humans? A handful of humans that are stung by a cone snail is often subject to a venom potent enough to paralyze and eventually kill its prey. The venom from one cone snail could kill 700 humans. Bro, if I ever go to Australia, I'm just not gonna touch anything. <laughs> like, I'm gonna wear gloves and fucking boots everywhere. You're telling me I pick up a snail and it could kill 700 people? Not only is it risky just being out here, but we also have to beat the clock. The tide is coming in fast, and this whole area is about to be completely underwater. So if we want to catch a stonefish... Can a stonefish to... kill you too? And this man's about to get stung by one? Do that before it happens. Everything looks exactly the same. This is going to be tough. Right there. There's that cheeky bugger! Pick him up! Pick him up! Grab him! Now these fish are so toxic, they don't really have a flight response. I'm gonna attempt to catch the most toxic fish in the world with my bare hands. All right, here we go. <laughs> Why? What? You have the glove over there, you just use the net! What the fuck? Why do you have gloves in the net? All right, I'm gonna. I know I brought these gloves in, uh, in this fucking net. That would be pretty useful. I'm gonna take all these off and I would just try and pick it up. Wow. There it is. That. How can that thing fucking see? Is the stonefish. Look at that tide pool monster. I can't believe we found one. I mean, it looks like a living rock. I never would have spotted this fish if it didn't move. The fact that it swam a little bit there is the only reason i was able right, to how is he gonna sting himself but he about to, he about to stab himself in the nipple or some shit that's what they're always doing on this fucking on this fucking youtube channel brave wilderness you'd think they'd they'd like be like all right i'm gonna let him stab my arm all right i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him poke my butthole and we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see how long i can last before i pass out i've been told i've been told by a lot of folklore that if you let him fucking stab you right up the anus, it gets pretty rough. <laughs> like, it, like it's never, I, he'll probably let him do it in his arm. But like, I would not be surprised if he's like, all right, I'm going to let him stab me in the chest. You ever see the video of Coyote Peterson when he got stung by that ant? And he just started manically like fucking hitting the ground. And he's like, Whoa! 
Oh, and he's just skitzing the whole time. And like, why is it? How much do you think he gets paid for that? Like, how much would y'all have to get paid to get stung by a bullet ant? It's overreacting? No, it is not. Dude, he gets stung by like the most venomous bugs or the most painful bugs that'll make like your arm go limp. Like, that's not, that's not an exaggeration. You get stung by it. Oh, well, now you just got this fucking thing going around. You just got a fucking arm. Beep. How much for you to just fucking smack a sea urchin? Like, full speed. Just right, right on it. Not one of the, not one of the little small white ones. One of these fuckers. One of these fuckers. Full force. Full force. Just fucking wham. Right, it's gonna pierce right through your fucking hand. Wham! Fucking step on it. Or do a belly flop. Well, now you'd probably die. No chance. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad. There's people that accidentally step on them. One of my grandfathers stepped on one of these. But these these aren't as bad. These little white ones. Because they're like kind of spooky. But I, I know a few people have stepped on those. Not the, not the big ass ones though. Stonefish stings are said to be one of the most painful experiences a human can endure. And I've already experienced my fair share of How many views does this have? 1.4 million? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. 1.4 million views bro that is not worth that is not worth the sting dog fish stings one from the most common That's a lot of money but still fish sting which is the lionfish how much money is that probably like i mean it depends on their cpm but i would assume they have pretty high cpm because they're kind of like an educational channel i would assume 1.4 million views for brave wilderness is probably like eight or nine grand but eight or nine grand, they're flying to us unless they live in Australia. They're flying to Australia to get stung by this. So the expenses of the video, dude, he's probably pocketing like two G's. Do you think that's worth it? Like him to make two grand off of getting stung by this fucking stonefish. Not every day you get to carry around the world's most toxic fish in a tank. This fish might just have the worst sting in the entire animal kingdom. <sighs> Man. Yo, he gonna do it here too? I thought they were going to go back to, like, a safe area. Yo, this man starts keeling over on the ground. He's fucking paralyzed. What are they going to do? Helicopter him fucking 10 miles to the nearest hospital? Oh, hell no. This man's going to die here. Yeah, this is the last video for him. Just looking at this fish is so incredibly cool. Look at all the growths all over its body. Definitely earns its name, the stonefish, a master of camouflage. All right. Let's go hands-on once again with the stonefish. He just sits on it. He pulls his pants down and just sits on the fish. Reason I can handle this fish is because it can only sting when the spine's on top. Wow. I this mean, if it can only sting on the spines on top, isn't that a pretty shitty defense system? Like, if it can only defend itself from one angle? I mean, if it's something trying to eat it, I would assume then yeah like it's it's doing it a, a bit better in the sense that it can't get eaten but it could still have like part of its body chunked off the toxin of this fish not only induces extraordinary pain it can actually cause muscle spasms and eventual paralysis and there have even been reported deaths from stonefish stings but now i think it's time to see how this fish and, injects its venom and now i'm gonna just mash my hand into its spines <laughs> And now I'm going to let it sting me even after just saying that people died. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing at the fact that people died. I'm fucking laughing at the fact that this man just said that. And now he's going to fucking stab it right into his body purposefully. This fish is perfectly fine being out of the water for extended periods of time. Because they've adapted the ability to actually hold water in their gills. It's not uncommon to see stonefish just laying on the rocks in these tide pools. So in the little bit of time that we have it here in front of the cameras, totally fine. All right, so I brought with me a piece of neoprene. I'm going to use this piece of neoprene to simulate skin so I can show you what would happen if you stepped on the stonefish. This animal has the ability to fire its venom into the wound created by its spine. That's why people who are envenomated and step on these stonefish end up in such a bad situation. It's not only that it's the most toxic venom, it's that you also get the most volume. Look at how sharp that spine is. Okay, in order to do this properly, I do need to get out some eye protection, so I'm gonna do that quickly. This venom, it has enough toxin in it to cause vision problems and perhaps even blindness. All right, let's see in slow motion how these spines inject venom. I'll do these top two, you guys ready? Here they go. One, 
two, three. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it's like blue. Holy cow, look at how much venom just came out of that fish. And let's do another one, do it one more time. Oh, I swear to God, if this man fucking injects the venom into his fucking body with like a fucking needle or some shit, smack that bitch with your hand, come on. Don't be a bitch, come on. Smack that motherfucker with your hand. He just, he, it looks like blue raspberry. Oh my gosh, guys, the spines are blue. And once those spines are out, they stay out. They're ready to defend. All right, let me try these uh, spines on the back here. He rubs his eyes. He goes, oh, I think I have something in my eyes. <laughs> I feel like I would do some shit like that. Like, wipe my eyes. I do that with peppers. If I ever have to, like, do use something hot, I'll wipe my eyes. One. Two. Three. Wow, God. that is what would be inside. But like, how much of that venom would kill you? Of your foot if you were to step on a stonefish. Now, it will regenerate its venom. This doesn't hurt the fish at all. And you can see these sheaths will just slide right back up. But holy cow, I gotta take a minute and process what I just saw. Oh, that is bad. I won't lie, I'm getting pretty nervous right now. This is something you should never do. Is I've he alone? Is he alone? Where's his cameraman? Wish me luck. The moment has come. It's time to be stung by the world's most toxic fish. I am borderline terrified. I have thought long and hard about whether or not to even go through with this, but I'm doing this today because through my research- I'm doing this today because but I'm gonna say through my research. I'm doing this today because I want a rack, right? And I get an easy rack if I just jam my hand onto this motherfucker's back. Most of the victims that end up dying from stonefish stings but has more to do with the pain and shock that leads to cardiac arrest. This venom is meant to cause you pain. But shock, I pain that would give you a heart attack. How bad is the pain? that he would have a fucking heart attack. Thermos filled with hot water that's around 114 degrees Fahrenheit, a compress to hold over the wound. And if it really gets down to it, I'll just have my cameraman pee on me. And then of course, if I do go into- If I lose, if I go, if I go into some sort of shock, I'll just get my cameraman to pee on me, dude. He already drank three Mountain Dews. Uh, the acidity is probably pretty high, so I think it'll solve it. Any state of anaphylactic shock I really think he is alone. I always- Chat, you're saying there's a cameraman. I don't see a fucking cameraman. Carry with me an EpiPen. We are about three minutes drive from an emergency room. So even if the worst case scenario does unfold today, I should have plenty of time to be able to get to emergency medical attention. All right, my plan today is to take a micro dose of stonefish venom. The venom from that neoprene trial. Oh, a micro dose. Oh, come on, just step on the fucking thing is already coating the spikes so they are locked and loaded ready to go when it's all said and done this should be just extraordinarily painful for me and hopefully very educational for you this is going to likely be the worst thing that i ever take i feel like he's got a fuck he's gonna let the tip stab him he has to go full hand i'm mark vins and i'm about to enter the sting zone with the stonefish the most toxic fish in the world. All right, I'm gonna go with this front spine here. Ready? This spine. On three. One. Two. Three. Ah! Mmm. Yep. Ah! Did that go in him? Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Mm. Yep. Mmm. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> he just fucking he just immediately collapses i already feel burn i could feel it spreading up my finger right now and it does not feel good wow the tide is coming in all right here let's mm, hang on 
Mm, let's move out of here. The tide's rolling. You're okay. gonna leave the fish? Yeah. Hang on. I'm gonna come over here. Andrew, put the fish back in the tank, man. Mm. Oh. Andrew, put the fish in the back of the fucking tank, man. I'm gonna fucking punch you in your nuts, dude. I just got stuck by a fucking stonefish. Fuck you, Mark. You're sitting behind the fucking camera. Acting like you're, you're some piece of shit. <laughs> right there is where, where the spine went in. God. Immediate fire. Spreading up my fingers. I can already feel it in these, these three. Bro, you barely got stung with that shit. I want to talk to somebody that stepped on that motherfucker. There was, like, no venom on it. It was just coating the spines. Did y'all see? There was, like, water droplets of venom. If that went into his fucking hand, he would have passed out. I want to see how far the venom spreads before I start applying the first. You know how there are people that are into pain and, like, they really enjoy pain? They should just get those people to do this job. If you're if you're somebody that's into that, bro, like that's the, like uh, they're gonna be excited. To, they're gonna get they're gonna get paid and they're gonna be happy. Mm. I feel like his arms turning purple. Oh my gosh. Mm. Let me know when you need the watermark. I'm just like it's making me nervous. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely drew a little bit of blood. Oh, and it is hot. It's like closing my hand is becoming hard. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's spreading. It's like all up the back of my hand now. Mm. There we go. Stonefish is good. Now I need to fix myself. So this hot water will actually stop the venom from working and should help my pain. Mm. Every Isn't bit. the venom in your body? Don't you need to get the hot water into your body? As painful as advertised, or is it because it's just on the outside of the skin? Bro, I think I, yo, I don't, I don't want to say if that was Coyote, he would have tanked that whole fucking, that whole fucking spine. I think if that was Coyote Peterson, he would have just went and fucking malleted his hand onto that shit. Nah, fuck no. All right, Gen Z slang ruined by TikTok. <laughs>